Hello everyone. So today we're going to do one theorem concerning the areas of two triangles. And this theorem is a prerequisite for the mathematical proof of basic proportionality theorem. And it says uh, triangles having a common base and in between two parallel lines are equal in area. So let us draw two parallel lines here. Let us name the first line or the top line as JK and the bottom line as LM. Okay, so JK and LM are parallel. And again, the theorem says triangles having a common base and in between two parallel lines are equal in area. So here we have to draw two triangles which are sandwiched or which are stuck in between JK and LM. So let me draw the first triangle and let us name this triangle as triangle ABC. Okay. And there's a reason why I've colored AB differently. That's because we have to draw another triangle from the side AB. And that triangle is triangle ABD. So here we have two triangles. One triangle is triangle ABC and the other triangle is triangle ABD. And if you notice, triangle ABC have a common base as triangle ABD, or we, can, we shall say common side. Triangle ABC and triangle ABD have a common side, and that common side is AB. Okay, so here it says triangles having a common base, or we can say a common side, and in between two parallel lines, so triangle ABC again and triangle ABD, these two triangles are stuck between two parallel lines and they have a common base AB, are equal in area. But we have to prove this, we have to show. So let us try to do that, okay? So uh, let me just erase this first. All right. So if you remember, the area of a triangle is given by half into base into height. Now, let us consider triangle ABC. If I take AB as base, then the area of the triangle will be half into AB into height. What is its height? If I take AB as base, this side AB as base of the triangle ABC, then the height of this triangle ABC will be this one, will be the line CP, since it is perpendicular to the line LM. Uh, by now, I think you know how to determine the height of the triangle because we have done that in the previous video also. So the area of the triangle ABC will be given by half into AB, which is the base, into height CP. All right. So that is area of triangle ABC. Uh, now let us consider triangle EBD. Now if I take again AB as base of triangle EBD, then the height of triangle EBD will be this one, the line DQ, since DQ is perpendicular to the line LM. So it is the height of triangle EBD. All right. And the area of triangle EBD will be given by half into base EB into height DQ. Okay. Now, I want you to take a look at height CP and height DQ. What do you notice? These two heights here are the same height. Why? Because it is the perpendicular. They are both the perpendicular distance from the line JK and the line LM, which are parallel. So, CP and DQ are equal. So if they are equal, we shall name CP as H and we shall also name DQ as H because they are the same height, okay? So instead of writing here, area of triangle EBC is equal to half into AB into CP because CP, now it's H, we've given it as H. So we'll write half into AB into, into H, right? And here also, area of triangle EBD, instead of writing half into EB into DQ, DQ can now be replaced by H. Okay? So here, will be half into EB into H. Okay? So if you notice here, area of triangle EBC is half into EB into H. Area of triangle EBD is also half into EB into H. What does this mean? It shows that area of triangle EBC is equal to area of triangle EB. So now we know that triangles which have a common base, for example here, triangle EBC and triangle EBD have a common base, EB, and which are stuck in between two parallel lines. Again, triangle EBC and triangle EBD are stuck in between two parallel lines, JK and LM, are equal in 
area or area of triangle EBC is equal to area of triangle EBD.